today I've got part two of my L3 Waxy Wonders haul for you guys. And the first part was my four samplers that I ordered as well as the Halloween Advent Calendar. And this is going to be two of my orders that they actually combined shipping for. So what was in my order other than the sampler and the Advent Calendar. So, as always, I will link L3's shop down below as well as their Facebook group and they have restocks all the time ready to ship and then pre-sales with huge extensive list of different things or different scents so they always post everything on Facebook very active on there so go ahead and join that group and let's hop into my order so as usual comes with three samplers or samples the first one is sweater weather in a scoopable Smells like fresh, crisp, like powdery. It smells nice. Don't really know what the notes are. Next we have cheesecake, graham crackers, and sugar cookie royale. This was the same as was in my other video sample. The graham cracker is just like out front, followed by the sugar cookie royale. Really nice. And then this was the same one also, hot apple pie extra vanilla ice cream. So I have two of those as well. And yeah, it smells like just like fresh, right out of the oven apple pie with ice cream. Okay, so she did this like murder mystery where she left three clues, one on her Facebook group, one on her Instagram, and like one maybe like on her page on Facebook and she left clues and if you solved the murder mystery, you got a free clamshell. And so I actually got it right. I was so excited. And so the clamshell is in Sanderson Sisters and I don't know the scent notes, but it was so generous for her to include those and everyone who guessed it correctly. So it's very warm and a little earthy almost like a masculine cologne smell, but not like too cologne, if that makes sense. So it's not bad. So happy to get that. And then this order was actually two orders. One I placed on August the 19th as a part of the pre-order, like when I ordered the advent and the samplers and that. And then another one was placed on September 30th. So she so kindly combined those and let's hop into my order or my orders because there's quite a few things in this bin. All right. The first thing here is a puppy pack and fall vibes, which is pumpkin pecan waffles, sugared shortbread and Mac apple. I'm just going to go in no particular order. This is definitely Mac apple. It's literally all I smell. Maybe a hint of the pumpkin pecan waffles, but it's like, ooh, mac apple. Next is a puppy pack of strawberry pound cake cupcakes at Tiffany's. Ooh, this is good. I've never had strawberry pound cake with just cupcakes at Tiffany's. And yeah, it smells really nice. I love a good strawberry bakery blend, and this one is really good. Next, we have a puppy pack in winter candy apple and sweater weather. It's kind of like a toned down winter candy apple. I wonder if there's like marshmallow or something in sweater weather. It's like a fresh take on winter candy apple. It's not bad, it's just different. Next up, we have pistachio pudding cake and vanilla ice cream in a puppy pack. Oh, so good. I love pistachio pudding cake. It's one of my favorite scent notes. And then with the vanilla ice cream, it just gives it a little extra bakery, and it's really nice. The pistachio is really strong, so with the vanilla, it kind of tones it down a bit. And then I think this is the last puppy pack, maybe. This is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and Palo Santo. Really loving Palo Santo this year. Oh yeah, this is good. Get both of the notes, like 50-50. And it just gives it a little, 
just something. It's just, I said this like before, I think it's just, Palo Santo is like that mysterious note where it just adds a little something and it's like you can't really put your finger on it. It just smells like bakery with something extra. And I love it. It's so, so nice. Her Palo Santo is really, really good. Okay, this is like a shape bag in Hay There Scarecrow, which is apple cider, hay, pumpkin carvings, and hinted cranberry. I just wanted to try this for the hay note, honestly. Okay, this smells really good. I get all the notes. I get the apple cider, the pumpkin, the cranberry, and the hay. And you know what? It's working for me. I really like it. It's fruity, but also like fruity fall. And I like it. It's really good. Next is Graveyard, which is leaves, toasted mallow, and Granny Smith apples. And these bags of little skeletons are so cute. Let me show you guys one. It's probably hard to see, but. Okay, get the Granny Smith apple, the leaves, and the toasted mallow. This is really good. I love that blend. It's really nice. Granny Smith apple is not something that a lot of vendors offer, and I really like it. It's not as, like, obnoxious as Mac apple. Next is Season of the Witch, which is our highly sought-after apples and leaves blend. I'm going to say I have had this one before. It smells good. It's just perfect for fall. It's so hard with L3. It's hard to resist their releases because so much is offered. Like, there's got to be something for everyone. And there's so many different forms of the wax. Like, I have so many orders. Honestly, I haven't even hauled them because they're from, like, July. <laughs> and I haven't even gone through them. That is such a shame. I'm in the process of, like, inventorying all my wax onto a spreadsheet so that I know what I have so that when I go ham on all of these releases, I don't double buy stuff that I already have because honestly, I do it all the time. So anyway, on a tangent, but here we go back to the wax. This is a pumpkin shape in Cider Lane, tea and cakes, espresso and toasted mallow. And this is such a different blend. I just had to try it. This pumpkin shape is kind of huge. It's so cute. Mm. Okay, I get the tea and cakes and the espresso. The little of the cider lane. And maybe a little of the toasted mallow. It smells really good. I would never think to mix espresso with tea and cakes, but it's so good. Fantasy Wax did an espresso and tea and cakes blend, and I really loved it too. Okay, this is not closing. All right, next up, just kidding, there's more puppy packs. <laughs> This is Zucchini Bread and Sugar Cookie Royale, which is my favorite blend. Sorry if you guys can hear my computer. It's like the fan just kicked on. Oh, so good. Zucchini Bread, Sugar Cookie Royale, just, yes. Such a good blend. It's a favorite. If you've never tried it, I highly recommend you do so from any vendor. Next puppy pack is strawberry pound cake, pumpkin pecan waffles, and sugar cookie royale. So, the trifecta. Mmm. Yes. All it's missing is zucchini bread, and it's like most of my favorite notes in a blend. So, so good. I get all the notes. It's a beautiful blend. And next up we have zucchini, oh, zucchini bread sugar cookie royale again in a puppy pack. Not going to sell it again because it's perfection. All right, now let's go, let's do the scoopables. Look at this fun color. OMG. Okay, this is birthday cake, white cake, strawberry pound cake, and strawberry jam. I have so many scoopables and can I be honest, I've never tried one. The only scoopable wax I've ever tried was a sample and I think it was from scoopable tart wax. So I've got so many L3 and I really just need to just jump in and try them. This is good y'all. Mm, I definitely get the strawberry pound cake and all those cakey notes. Really, really nice. Yeah, that's a goal. I'm going to, I'm going to warm one of these soon. Okay. Next is strawberry buttercream, sweet cream, and yellow cake. Definitely not a strawberry cake this time. 
Mm, okay, so this is more like that yellow cake is really something. I definitely get that the most. This is really nice. I like yellow cake, but it's really rich. Okay, next is amaretto vanilla ice cream and pumpkin pecan waffles. Really excited for this one. Oh my gosh. The amaretto really complements the pumpkin pecan waffles because I feel like they're kind of in the same family. They're very sweet and so good. Oh, this is gonna be a good one, I can tell. Next, we have strawberry bread, fresh picked strawberries and zucchini bread. I really love the strawberry bread note. It's a really good one. Oh my gosh. Yes, I get all three notes really, really good. Her zucchini bread is just something special. Yeah, this is perfect. Love it so much. Next, we have pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie royale, and zucchini bread. So, y'all know, sugar cookie royale and zucchini bread is like top tier and then mixed with pumpkin pecan waffles. It's just, yes. This one's kind of harder to smell. Yep, I do get all three notes though. So good. Oh, can't wait to do that one. Oh, um, anytime you buy a scoopable from L3, she includes like a random spoon. And this one is so pretty and like an oil slick. Really pretty. Okay, we have blueberry pumpkin packed sugar cookie royale and zucchini bread. Oh, kind of hesitant about this one because I just figured out that I don't really care for blueberry pumpkin patch, but maybe the zucchini bread will fix it. Yeah, it's not bad. Something in the blueberry pumpkin patch note, I just am not the biggest fan of. I don't know what it is. But yeah, zucchini bread and sugar cookie royale will fix it. So don't really mind that one. Next we have a blueberry muffin, brown sugar, and pie crust. Ooh, this is really good. Yeah, I get the all three notes again. Blueberry muffin is one of my favorite blueberry bakery scents. It's just so, so good. Two more scoopables. The first one is sugared shortbread, Danish butter cookies, and tea and cakes. Okay, this one's super good. It's like a creamy tea and cakes with like more of the cookie note instead of the cake. Really nice, love it. And then the last scoopable is Patch Adams, which is pumpkin pecan waffles, butter brickle, and blueberry cobbler. Never tried this one and always wanted to. Mm. Does the, does the butter brickle have like caramel in it? It's like creamy and rich like that. I don't know, but this smells so good. Yeah. Okay, really excited for all of those scoopables. Okay, now let's hop back in to the wax. Let's see, to the regular wax, I guess. Sleep paralysis, caramelized pralines, zucchini bread, and cream cheese frosting. This is a Bitty Betty loaf. Smells good. I get the caramelized pralines and the cream cheese frosting and the zucchini bread. It's really nice. Sometimes I don't really care for cream cheese frosting, but I don't mind it here. Next is roll in the hay, which is pumpkin carvings, hay, and mac apple. Did I already do that one? I kind of feel like I did. Hmm, but it smells really good. That hay note is really something special too. It's so different and it's very sweet, but still earthy. I like it. The Mac Apple is really strong as well. I feel like anytime I smell something with Mac Apple in it, I smell Mac Apple for like days later. Next, we have a little jack-o'-lantern shape in pumpkin sugar donuts, sugar cookie royale, and zucchini bread. I feel like I'm just gonna get anything if it's mixed with sugar cookie royale and zucchini bread. Ooh, that's really good. I love those three together. You get a little cinnamon spicy. Mm, really, really good. 
Next we have cinnamon apple donuts. Mm, it smells kind of like pumpkin sugar donuts a bit, but with apple. Really nice, like apple cinnamon sugar. Next we have pumpkin pecan waffles, blackberry jam butter cookies, and vanilla wafers. I definitely get more of the blackberry jam butter cookies than the pumpkin pecan waffles. Hopefully that will come out more on warm. Next we have pumpkin sugar don't nope. I got two of those, right? Yep, pumpkin sugar donut, sugar cookie royale, and zucchini bread. What I'm assuming happened is on the August order, I ordered one, and then on the September order, I ordered them again, forgetting that I had already ordered it. So I do that all the time. Another reason that I'm making my spreadsheet. Next, we have Pennywise, which is sweet funnel cakes dusted with powdered sugar and topped with strawberry and raspberry syrup. Mm, this is good. I definitely get the strawberry and raspberry syrup with a little cake note. So it's very sweet. I was expecting kind of a cinnamon note like in the funnel cake, but I don't smell that at all. Okay, next we'll do two pack bunts. The first one is strawberry jam and honey butter rolls. Honey butter rolls is one of my favorite notes ever. Love it so, so much. And I feel like I've been neglecting it lately. Okay, this is definitely different. The strawberry jam is so sweet, and then you get the cinnamon from the honey butter rolls. I don't know how I feel about it. Sometimes strawberry jam can be too much, and I feel like I'm, I'm gonna try it, but I'm unsure how I feel about it. The verdict is still out, we will see. Next we have Dream Weaver and Vanilla Lace. Dream Weaver is lavender cream and sugar cookie dough bread. Dream Weaver I actually warm in my bedroom at night a lot of times, it's so nice. So mixed with the Vanilla Lace, I just found that I really like that note. Oh yeah, this is so good. It's like a creamy vanilla, I mean a creamy lavender. So, so good. Really excited to have this one. Next, we have cranberry orange muffin, honey butter rolls, and cinnamon rolls. Ooh, this one's good. That cranberry orange muffin note is good. And then the cinnamon rolls really amps up the honey butter rolls and adds more cinnamon. Yeah, this is good. Perfect for fall. It's like sweet and spicy. Next, we have chestnuts, brown sugar, waffle cone, and vanilla ice cream. I'm really trying the chestnut note because I love almond and pistachio so much, so I'm sure I'll love chestnuts. This is good. The waffle cone is what I smell the most of. Followed by chestnuts, brown sugar, and then vanilla ice cream. This is a different blend, but I really like it. Very sweet. And the last two pack bunt is Earl Grey tea, lavender, and vanilla birch. Ooh, this is so good. Really into Earl Grey tea. I love any tea notes. And tea mixed with lavender, I found I really like. And vanilla birch is a new one to me. And it just adds a little like earthiness, warmth, and loving it. Excited to try it on warm. Okay, and lastly, we have four pack fluted tarts. So the first one is blueberry cobbler, coffee bean, and sugar cookie royale. I definitely get the coffee pretty much only. Maybe coffee and sugar cookie royale, but I don't really get any blueberry. So hopefully the blueberry will come out on warm because I am not smelling it. Next we have cupcakes at Tiffany's zucchini bread. 
Ooh, this is good. I love this one so much. I love cupcakes at Tiffany's and then that zucchini bread just, ooh, makes it smell so much better. So, so good. Okay, we have a sugared spruce, sugar cookie royale. a creamy Christmas tree. I really like it. It smells super good. Sugar Cookie Royale is another one of those like zucchini bread. It literally can make anything smell good. Next we have Strawberry Pound Cake and Beach Nights which is a warm blend of toasted mallow, sea breezes, and s'mores. Also recently been really into Beach Night blends with bakery. So good. Ooh, it's like an aquatic, fresh strawberry pound cake. It's just so weird to me how you can take like an outdoor aquatic scent, mix it with bakery and like it, but it works. This is super good. And lastly, Cupcakes at Tiffany's Blueberry Muffin. Love it. Mm, I get the blueberry muffin the most. With cupcakes at Tiffany's, I can definitely smell it, but the blueberry muffins is stand out. So, so, so good. So, that is my super big, well, two L3 orders. So I guess if you remember that it's two, it's not that bad, right? But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you placed an order and what you got. Some, tell me some of your favorite L3 scents. I feel like there's so many. Um, they're just, you know, I love L3. And if you're ever like just wanting to buy something, they always have stock, I feel like. So it's a good, safe place to get some wax. So thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.